Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my July favorites. I have lots of good stuff, some repetitive things, some new ones, and some hair care, perfume, a blanket, uh, lots of good stuff. So grab yourself something to drink, something to eat, hang out with me, and let's get started. I am going to start first with some hair care perfumes. I'm going to put timestamps, so if you're not interested in these kinds of things, uh, just skip ahead to the makeup. But I'm gonna start with a hair care product that I've discovered. This is from Colleen Rothschild, and this is a mask. I have loved this one so, so much. First of all, it smells like a spa, but it's a really thick mask. I use it as conditioner. I just had my hair done, and so my ends are a little dry, but since using this, it's done such amazing things. It's a really thick, I have curly thick hair um, and so this really really helped my ends I love it I've used it maybe like three times because I only wash my hair once a week but I've really been enjoying this um, another one from the same brand is this right here they send me a ton of products but this one out of all the things that I've tried for them is a huge huge standout this is the illuminating tinted eye cream and when I'm saying this is tinted and illuminating, this is no joke. It's truly what they say it is. This has that pink undertone and it really helps to brighten your under eyes. And look at that. Look how brightening it is and definitely has a pigment. But you can fade it in and it really just becomes a veil. And it's supposed to be hydrating. It's quite like thick when you first apply it but once you blend it in it just blends in so nicely i've been using this almost as a corrector under my makeup i don't use this at night absolutely love this so that is a huge standout product next we have two perfumes to talk about i love perfumes i always mention what i've kind of been wearing that month and these two have been the ones that i've been wearing a lot um, now this one was gifted to me by twisted lily i'm so thankful for it i did pick this myself they sent me a ton of different samples they're very cutely packaged absolutely gorgeous so i got to try so many samples and this was the one that I picked. This is Roja Perfumes Elixir. I also have 10% off with Twisted Lily. I will put it on the screen and in the description box uh, with my link. So if you're ever interested in perfumes, you can use that and save yourself some money. I have hair in my mouth. And I also think they carry Creed, if I'm not mistaken. They carry a lot of big niche brands and it's such a good site to go and buy samples because you can buy like a few samples if you're not sure to invest so much money in a perfume so overall i really think twisted lily is just such a convenient way to shop perfumes because you don't want to blind buy but anyway let's go to this perfume this one my goodness i would say that this is a beautiful floral and fruity scent very 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 feminine this is not leaning masculine or unisex whatsoever i feel like this is pure femininity and it's interesting because i usually tend to reach for a bit more masculine perfumes like i like a woozy tone i like just something a little bit more deep but this one is just so light so feminine it has peaches lily of the valley actually let me pull up the notes okay so it says here it's a sweet fruity and warm uh, top bergamot i don't get that too much the heart is lily of the valley geranium rose de may jasmine ylang ylang helitropian violet raspberry i really smell the raspberry and peach also the base like it dries down a little bit more cinnamony cedarwood sandalwood vanilla auris just so many notes that all come together so well blended I would say that this is extremely feminine. The packaging of this is kind of how this perfume is. It's feminine, it's light, it's not overpowering, it's not a beast mode, but on me, it lasts about five, six hours and like my husband can smell it and he can't smell almost anything. Um, so it's, it's just a beautiful fragrance. I don't see anybody disliking it. I'm not even the biggest floral 
lover um but i do really like this one i think it's beautiful i also layer this one with other perfumes um so i feel like this is kind of a blind buy like anybody would like it but it's a lot of money so you, you want to make sure that you test it out before but mm. so raspberry i smell a lot of raspberry in this and the peaches there but this dries down a little softer. The raspberry is not quite as intense once it dries down. It's just more of a, it becomes a little bit more warm. But absolutely love this one. And then the other one that I've been talking about for a long time is this Creed. I'm like trying to be sparing with this one because it's so expensive. I did buy a full size. Um, so I'm going to have the full size soon. But, you know, I have a little bit left of this one. But it's absolutely stunning a beautiful summer fragrance this is kind of like beast mode almost all the creed fragrances i feel like they're quite intense so these have been my two two fragrances of the month definitely check out twisted lily and again i'll put my code in the description box if you're interested i have one more thing before we go into makeup and it is this big blanket this my friends is incredible i got this at the sephora not sephora the nordstrom sale this is the barefoot blanket uh, i'm gonna put this in the description box below because i don't really remember the actual name <sighs> i want 10 of these this is the first time that i'm i own one i've been kind of feeling them at nordstrom and i was like yeah they're nice but it's just so much money for a blanket but now that i have it i have to say it's all I wear it around the house like I actually put it in my bedroom so the kids can't mess it up and I just I sit in bed with a blanket on top of me because I love it so much it's incredibly soft it's not overheating it's it's just wonderful it, it really is amazing and I feel like this has opened my eyes to this brand and I want their socks I want their um robes I want their pajamas I want everything from them but this one I think it's still on sale um, at Nordstrom for their anniversary so I'll make sure to link that below it's still expensive it's like almost 100 bucks um, but absolutely worth the money absolutely worth the money I have many blankets we're big fans of cozy blankets and nothing is as wonderful as that one so amazing okay moving on primers I have two that I've been using so much I've talked about this Shantikai anti-aging face tint quite a bit Shantikai had a sale so I, I don't know if it's still going on I will link it down below if it is you could get 25% off and Shantikai has amazing product not everything is worth it but this and their foundation absolutely incredible so this has this you know bronzy color you can use this as a primer uh what i did today to show you i kind of put it as a primer but only in the bronzier area like where i wanted to contour a little bit or bronze up the skin it's beautiful it's moisturizing it has skincare ingredients it mixes so well on its own i can put this all over the face with a little bit of concealer and i can do that i can use this as a bronzer on top of foundations i can mix it in foundation I absolutely love this product. I actually picked up the rose one, the rose tint, I guess, or primer from them from the sale. It came available like last minute. So I'll link that below as well. Again, if there's still a sale, if not, ooh, maybe wait for a sale because these are not cheap. But I love this one. I've used this for, I want to say half a year. And I feel like I barely made a dent because you need so little of this um so yeah this is probably my number one primer and then i've gotten back to my glowish primer by huda i love this one i feel like it helps with pores it's very cooling slightly moisturizing i've obviously been a little sick if you can tell by my voice um and this just helps my foundation go on super smooth I love it. So those are the two primers I've used a lot this month. Moving on to my favorite skin tint I've tried in such a long time, and that is this beauty right here. This is the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I've done a reel with this. I've used this in a video. Uh, this has taken over. It's pretty much almost, almost everything I've been using this month since I've tried it. I love this so much. I can't even tell you guys how incredible this is. It is glowy. 
it is uh, a skin tint. It's not like the Danessa Myricks. That one, to me, it's like a foundation. It's like a glowy, luminous foundation. This is a tint. You're not gonna get that medium coverage. Um, this gives you light coverage, evens out your skin. It looks so beautiful on the skin. I did a lot of reels uh, using this and I had this on in natural light and everybody was complimenting on my skin. It's because of this. It's so beautiful. Like, I wouldn't say that it's the most smoothing, but it doesn't emphasize my pores at all. Uh, for it to have a glow finish, gorgeous. It lasts so well throughout the day, and it's just easy to apply. I squeeze a little bit. I can use my brush. I can use my fingers. It does such an amazing job uh, both ways. I've never used a beauty blender. I assume it would soak quite a lot of the products. So I probably wouldn't use that, but... I love it. The, the shade I have is shade 7, and I feel like it's going to work for, you know, even if you're tan, even if you're a little bit um, lighter. Even in the winter time, I kind of feel like this could work because it's not full coverage, so it just kind of blends into your skin really well. I love it. It kind of feels like a moisturizer on my skin. So this has been definitely my number one used product. However, I've also really enjoyed the uh, Fido Tint Nude from Sicily. I had... A lot of questions about how are these compares and the Shante Kai. So I'm going to tell you real quick. The Sicily is the most natural out, out of all of them. Very light coverage. This is almost like a, a blurring primer with some tint in it. Um, it gives me the finish. It's more natural. Uh, not glowy. It doesn't have that super glowy finish like the Hourglass. This is when I want almost nothing on my skin where I want people to not even know that I have something yet it blurs my skin really really well so on a no makeup makeup I will reach for this um on the day-to-day -day, this is absolutely stunning if I want a little bit more juicy skin a little bit more glowy I feel a little bit dry this is absolutely stunning and then the Chantecaille I would say gives the most coverage out of all of them. This, the formula is so different as well. This has a gel consistency and it is cooling on the skin. The finish is more natural, unlike the Hourglass. This is more glowy and you can build this up a little bit more. I would say this is more skin-like than the Hourglass and I think I'm saying that just because the Hourglass has that glow so it's obvious that you have something glowy on your skin. Uh, whereas the Chantecai is kind of more a foundation. It's not necessarily a skin tint. Like you can build this up. It can be a skin tint because you can kind of, you know, um, shear it out. But that's kind of that's kind of the difference between these two. And the Danessa Myricks, I had a lot of questions about that. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like I'm losing my voice. Um, that one is definitely more medium coverage. That has more coverage than all of these. So yeah, that's kind of... A quick comparison between those but those are the I would say those three are the ones that I've used pretty much all month long of course my Chanel one has been faithful and loyal to me I absolutely adore this one and I feel like I've used quite a bit but one that I did not expect to like this is the hourglass concealer and I have a love-hate relationship with this one right now it's love this I have to be careful with if I add too much, it gets kind of heavy and cakey. If I powder this, I don't like it. But when I just have a little bit and spread it out, it, it makes me look flawless. Um, it, it's actually great for all over the skin. I do enjoy it under my eyes if I put so little. I also think the color is great. The color is apricot. And I've had like three or four different colors and I just didn't love those. But this one works so well with my skin. Look at that color. So I really think that the key with this concealer is put a very little, like a dot. Spread it out. I don't set it because it doesn't need to be set because it kind of sets itself. It's definitely thick. Like it's a thicker concealer than I usually enjoy, but it does give me really good coverage. And so I've been really really enjoying this for that flawless look. Another discovery this month is the Makeup Forever HD like reformulated concealer. I've done a full day wear test on this. I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. I find this concealer to be an everyday beautiful concealer. It's so easy 
you know, I can over apply and I don't feel like it looks heavy at all. I can put a little bit and sheer it out. I feel like I get a medium coverage out of this one overall. I have two shades, 2.2 and 2.0. 2.2, I've been wearing it the most. Um, absolutely adore it. I really have no negative things to say. It's great for people with drier under eyes and drier skin overall. Normal as well. Combo, if I feel like this may be slipping and sliding if you're too oily. Um, I do set this concealer and it does a great job. So I really have loved it. I, again, I have a full day wear test. I feel like it lasts really well throughout the day and I've been reaching for it so much. It's just like a no brainer. Um, easy, easy every day. It's not as fancy as my Chanel. I still prefer this one over all the concealers. It gives better coverage. It's just overall better, but this is so much more expensive. And I think this is a good, I wouldn't say an alternative, but if you enjoy kind of that kind of finish, I think this you would enjoy as well. Now, I do have a corrector. Uh, this is the Huda corrector. I reviewed this one and I actually got the color peach. It was way too dark for me, so I went and swapped it. And this is so much better. This is the pink pe pink. P pomelo I cannot say that word anyway uh, and I love this color so much better this works so so well under the eyes I absolutely recommend this one it's a thin consistency I would say medium coverage it does such a good job canceling under your eyes and it works well with all the concealers that I've tried so this color is fantastic for me. Uh, again, the peach was just darkening my under eyes too much. It was just not the right color for me. But this, fabulous. Powder, I have two powders that I've been wearing daily. First one is the Givenchy. I feel like everybody talks about this one. Uh, Le Prisme Libre. This is number three, like shade three. I have the shade 12 that was limited edition. I love the number three so much more. I'm I like this one, but this one does something, something more under my eyes. It just works so much better. This number 12 is nice. I think it's, I mean, I think they're both nice, but I don't know why the shade three works so much better. There's a, an undertone there that kind of cancels the darkness under my eyes so much better. This is the mini size and guys, I will use this one for probably a year before I have to repurchase or even more. I don't use a ton of powder, so you can get the small one and I think you'd be just fine unless you're like a absolute lover of powder. You, anyway, I love that one. And then Chanel, I have tried this a couple months ago and I love it. I feel like it's such a good powder. You get a ton of product uh, in here and it's good. It's very blurring. It, it sets down your makeup. If I feel a little bit too glowy, like right before I filmed, I felt like, okay, I was getting a little glowier because I was running around the house. Um, and I just added a little bit of this and I feel like that really helped. So those are the two powders that I've been using pretty much exclusively this month. Moving on to bronzer slash contour. These are the ones that I've used a lot this month. These are from Radiant and I think they came out this past month and I love these. The one I use most is Milo, which is more of a contour shade. And I just love the way this blends into the skin, the, the, the way it stays on all day. And I like the color a lot. It's definitely more of a contour color on me. The only thing I have to say about these, because of the packaging, I like to store it upside down because if I keep it like this, you know, I have to kind of shake it and make sure the product gets out. There's no way to squeeze this because it has this little ball at the end. So that's the only thing that I want to mention is make sure you, you know, at least store it sideways or upside down. If you store it like this, it's going to take a little bit for the product to come back out. But the formula is very light, so beautiful on the skin. I've been loving it. And again, the color I've used mostly is Milo for contouring. The color Eros is great for more bronzing my skin, but I tend to reach for these more for contouring. Um, another one that, I mean, I've been reaching for over and over and over again, mostly using skin tints, the Makeup my, by Mario Skin Enhancer. I have the light medium. This is great more for contouring for me right now. And then the shade medium is a good bronze color. I think it's beautiful. It works so well. These are both so light on the skin that 
I feel like I can use any colors, even the deeper ones. I feel like they would kind of work. I've talked about these so much in all my videos. I, I feel like this is one of my favorite products that I own in my collection. Um, so yeah, this, this has been in my makeup bag nonstop. Now another powder bronzer that I wanted to mention, actually two, is this one from Pat McGrath. This is in Bronze Dawn. Absolutely love this one. It's extremely blurring on the skin. I love the way it sits like the color on my skin, I feel like it does something. Um, and I've been reaching for this so much more lately. I think because I've been traveling a little bit, I just needed a good basic bronzer. I have been reaching for this and I think it's absolutely fabulous. You know, and um, Pat McGrath has so many sales, so never, ever, ever, ever purchase something from her that's not on sale because she has like 30% off every other month. Another bronzer, that I really have been enjoying this summer is the Chantecaille. Hopefully the sale's still going on. Um, this is in the color Serena and I love it. It's a little bit more uh, reddish and it has that sheen you see right there. It works so, so beautiful on the skin. It makes me look kind of alive, a little bit sunburned, but in the best way possible. And I think this is such a beautiful, summer product it is quite a pricey little thing so if you can get this on sale absolutely worth it and moving on to blushes i feel like there's been so many blushes the past couple of months but i have picked four that i've been using a lot here quickly mentioning the this fenty match stick i feel like it's sold out everywhere and i feel bad for talking about it but I really have been reaching for this so 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 much it is this bright pink but it's you know the one that kind of adjusts to your skin um and so it may be a little bit different on all of you guys but on everybody that i've seen it it turns pretty much a pink color but the finish is so beautiful it's so juicy and glo glossy and glowy it lasts all day on me I think this is a fabulous product. She needs to come uh, bring this one in multiple colors and just have it in her permanent line because this is one of the best blushes that are kind of like this style that I've ever, ever experienced. It is beautiful, gorgeous. If you see it in store, try it on. I haven't seen it yet in store whatsoever. And online, they've been sold out for forever. Uh, two blushes that I've already kind of talked about before in a video. This is the Dior in the color Cherry. I love this color. Absolutely love it so much. Again, I've done a reel with this one and everybody was like, I love that blush. It's such a beautiful, bright, summery color. I think it's fresh and exciting. And so I've been reaching for this a lot. But this one from Gucci, this color is in Intense Plum. I love the formula of this better, but the color, I enjoyed this one from Dior a little bit more. Um, this is a beautiful, almost kind of watermelony with a little bit more depth to it. It's beautiful. It doesn't remind me of plum whatsoever. And it is just so beautiful, definitely brightening on the skin. Not quite as much as the cherry one. This is a little bit more neon-y, but a, a beautiful color that I was surprised that I enjoyed so much and I felt like it worked so well with my skin tone. So those are the two powder brushes that I've been, you know, reaching for a lot. Now these from Makeup by Mario are always in my favorites. I, I'm not even gonna mention them more, but like these are always gonna be my favorites. I have five colors. I keep them here and whenever I'm in a hurry or I don't know what to put on, I'll reach for these. All colors are wonderful. But one that's been an old favorite and I've been reaching for it more and more is this Westman Atelier in the color Petal. I have the color Chouchette and there's one color um, it's something with B and it's this deeper red color. I tried it in store once and I had to hold back from not purchasing them uh, because it was so beautiful. But this is a beautiful everyday uh, blush, pinky, rosy color. The, the thing with this is the formula is so blendable, so easy. It lasts so long on the skin and it has more of a natural finish. It doesn't have that glowiness, but it's not flat and matte. It's a beautiful, amazing, amazing formula. Um, again, I'm going to pull the other color out and try, just try to use it more often because it truly is such a staple 
blush in anybody's anybody's collection um so yeah those are the blushes that i've been reaching for this month for highlighter ugh, i've been testing out these westman atelier like highlighting drops but i'm not gonna put them here because i want to I'm gonna do a dedicated video. I have all three colors and have so many thoughts about it. Um, but besides that, I have been reaching for this one from Lisa Eldridge. This is her elevated like glow. It's in the color Cosmic Rose, and this is my favorite. I really have been enjoying it so much. It's what I have on right now. It's a very natural yet glowy and I like to put this under makeup on top of makeup I can mix it in with my makeup I think this is a fantastic product so honestly besides that I don't think and besides that, like the Westman Atelier ones I don't think I've been reaching out for a highlighter because my base has been so glowy naturally either from the blush or the foundation or other things that I didn't feel the need to have another highlighter moving on to eyes i have not done a ton on the eyes but this palette from tom ford i've reached for over and over and over again i knew when i purchased this one that i'm not purchasing this for the diversity of the colors but for the basicness of it i love this color it pulls just a little bit more warm on me but it still has a pinky shift to it i love this brown so much easy blendable and these they're just both easy beautiful everyday kind of shades uh many times i just reach for the mattes in this and then one more item these from rare beauty now i've done a full dedicated video on all the colors and i kind of had good and bad to say about these but even the ones that i kind of gave a bad a review on like this one right here this is the color compassion i said it was kind of splotchy and I, I did a little dry on my eyes. I use this as a liner and it lasts so well as a liner. And this color is so good with my coloring and my eyes. That as a liner and it kind of smudge it on the top line, even in my waterline. I think this is the one I've reached for the most out of all the colors that I have because I use it as a liner. I never use it all over the lid. It's just a little too dry. It's just a little too patchy for me. But as a liner, it lasts all day. It's so beautiful. It just gives a like brightness to my eyes. So I love it. But I like the other shades as well. The lighter one, Well Being, is a beautiful, bright shade. Really nice to like in an inner corner or to have an eyeshadow pop so overall i actually have been reaching for these so much more than i thought um and i'm surprised that the the color that i reached for is the one that i gave the worst review on i'm using it differently than it's supposed to um and yeah those have been another eyeshadow that i've been reaching for and that's about it i have not i don't think i've touched any other eye products now the mascara that i'm wearing right now on the top lashes is this huda one coat wow mascara and i've again done a review on this one and i love this one for a more intense eye look it's only a one coat mascara if i do two it just gets a little spidery or a little clumpy on me and i really like it as one coat now i've been trying to use it on the top it doesn't smudge on me on the bottom like I put it on the bottom today and it kind of felt like throughout the video, I kind of saw a little bit of smudginess like right here. I have to take this and kind of make sure that I don't have it all over my eyes. So I still wouldn't use this on my lower lashes, even though on the top, I have no issues with it. On the bottom, ugh. it is like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't on the bottom. So I'm like a little bit confused, but I'm just gonna stay with my hourglass unlocked for my lower lashes and use this for the top lashes and the good thing about this one is that it comes off so easy um it's not waterproof so if you cry and things like that i feel like this is gonna smudge everywhere but compared to this one from ysl this is a pain to take off i have to double triple cleanse with a really balmy or oily makeup remover but this one comes off so much easier 
and they both give like that super intense lash look. So that's definitely a new mascara that I've been enjoying. I am a lip hoarder. I need to stop this. It's insanity. I have reviewed the Lisa Eldridge, the uh, Valentino, the Rose Ink, so, so many lip products. Uh, and I actually carry so many with me in my bag. I carry no other makeup. I don't even carry powder with me, but I carry like 10 different lip products with me. I'm gonna start with lip liners. These from Natasha Denona, they are the, I need a nude lip crayon. I have the color Cleo and Li Lian. I love both of these colors. I think they're absolutely stunning. They last so, so well. I like the undertones of these. They are, they're just been my favorite lately. And I think they're incredibly creamy. So this one right here is Clio, the lighter one. I think that's the one I have on. And then the other one is Lian right here. Definitely a little bit deeper, but absolutely gorgeous. So these have been such a big discovery for me because I kind of got these on a whim. I was just at Sephora swatching things and I was like, wow, I really like these colors. And yeah, these have been in my little makeup bag in my purse. Um, and then the other one that I always use is this one from Tower 28, Work of Art. I mean, I talk about this so, so much, but those are the lip liners that have been like my go-to. Now let's talk about these Lisa Eldridge lip products because I absolutely love them. I think they're incredible. They last all day long. These are the most long lasting lip, liquid lipsticks I think that I have in my collection. Now they're a little bit more drying and I, I say that sparingly because they're not drying. Like I don't feel like my lips are dry but compared to the rose ink these are a little bit more whipped and they don't feel maybe as matte as the Lisa Eldridge ones but these last longer and they're not drying like don't take that the wrong way. They're they're just very liquidy so when they dry they just feel a little bit like you feel them on a little bit now the rosing i would say have been out of all of them the ones that i've been reaching for the most because i've had them the longest and the color count the ways has been just a favorite i absolutely love this color i love the nude in it i like the peachiness a little bit and i just I love it so much. Uh, so that's definitely one that I think is the most used out of all the lip products that I'm gonna share with you today. Another one that I've talked about this before, but this is their, the Cledipo Cream in the shade uh, 201. This is what I'm wearing today, and I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's, you know, I'm not a big fan of glossy lips. I don't know. On my lips, I feel like they just don't look as good. I don't have a very defined lip. So I feel like when I have matte liquid lipsticks or just matte lipsticks in general, I can really control the shape. With these, I feel like they slip and slide just glossiness a little bit more. But this, there's just something about this that it's so opaque and it has such an even color and so much gloss in it that I love this formula out of I think all my like more glossy lip products this is very very beautiful a little bit more unique than my other ones and there's just something about it again I think it's that almost thickness to it and opacity even in a nude color that I enjoy so much sorry my phone is just going off you know i've tried so many lip products in the past month um but these are my favorites i'm gonna leave it here because truly these are the ones that i reach for over and over and over again i do enjoy this gloss from seattle london this is in the shade heartbeat i really like this i like a little bit of this readiness with a brown lip liner i think it looks so so good so i will include this one as well because as you can see here which this is rare for me i am not a gloss person and the fact that i've used so much of this one speaks volume so okay i think that's it guys i think those are all my favorite products i oh no i actually wanted to mention this one the cali ray this is the surf proof setting spray. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last favorites, but the most beautiful setting spray that I have in my collection, the mist is absolutely incredible. I like that this is moisturizing, but also long lasting. 
it's fabulous. I hate the packaging. I don't like it, but I do like the, the mist that it has. So that's it guys. That's everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. The kids are going back to, back to school. So I feel like I'm going to be able to be a little bit more consistent on Instagram and on YouTube just because summertime is hard with the little kids at home because they're loud and you can't record. But I'm excited for a routine and I'm excited for, uh, you know, all the things that we're going to share together. I'm starting, I think next week, I'm starting my declutter series and I'm going to be brutal. So make sure you subscribe for that. And that's it. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.